Cheers to YouTube. Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. Not caring what men think will be your downfall as a woman. We have such an important message here. And it's a very underrated topic. I don't feel like I don't feel like a lot of people really touch on this too often. But I think by the time she's done talking, you as a man will agree. No more wasting time. Let's hear it. Hey, so I know that a lot of women are going to hate this message. I already know. <laughs> Y'all going to call me a pick me because people call me a pick me all the time. But I just feel like this. If you are a female, like... You know, a lot of women in our community be having this outlook on things like that they don't care about what men think and like they just going to do what they want to do. And I used to be one of these females. And one thing that I learned is the fact that if you are a female or you a woman and you want to attract a certain type of treatment and you want to attract a certain type of dude, then you're going to have to know how to play the game. (laughs) Like, I'm serious because like I worked at a club and I realized that it's different types of men in the world. You know what I'm saying? And like a lot of the men that in our community that treat women bad are bottom tier men. They the street dudes, the hood dudes, the uh the inmates. Like these are like, I'm sorry if it offends anybody, but like they're bottom tier dudes. Let's not forget how they love to reproduce with these men. Let's keep listening. And if you want to attract a gentleman and you want to attract somebody that's going to wine and dine you, like, you have to know how to carry yourself. Like, they not, like, they're not even going to look in your direction if, Come like, on. you don't play that role. You know what I'm Come on. She's speaking so much truth right now. Damn, like, I don't care what nobody say. Like, you have to be conscious to what you attract. Like, you got to, like, if you want to get a gentleman or, you know, some women do want to be old and, and by themselves or old and being a city girl or old and with a sneaky link. But I'm telling you, if you want to attract a certain type, you're going to have to work on the way you the way you speak. You're going to have to work on the way you dress. You're going to have to work on, the, on taking care of yourself. You're going to have to work on knowing when to be quiet because, like, ain't nobody taking no hood. Ain't nobody whining and dining like no hood rat chick. I mean... Drink the coffee, it will make you feel better. Ain't nobody wifing, no hood rat, chick. <laughs> Unless he's, you know, an NBA young boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like one of them. So I'm telling you, like, if you want to attract a different type of man, you have to change the type of female that you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you you can't, you can't just do what you want to do and say what you want to say and keep doing things your way and think you're going to get different results. Listen, I remember being on dates and, you know, people, people obviously have a representative they put like on a dating app and then you meet them in person and you kind of get to know them a little bit better. And, and you can look at a woman and say, you know, if you didn't look so rough, if you didn't have so many boyish tendencies if you maybe kept up with your weight you know if 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 you took out the piercings and all, all these different things there's just it's just so crazy to me that i would look at certain women sometimes and think if you got rid of these things the caliber of men you find attractive would increase and it it blew my mind how many women walk around and just don't do it right they're just going to keep rocking the crazy hair and these would be sometimes pretty cool chicks where you talk to them and be like oh you know you're not crazy but why do you look crazy why do you why why do you have that color hair why do you carry yourself like that like why why go get that tattoo removed you get what i mean let's keep listening so yeah I just want to say that, like, a lot of women be thinking that all men are trash and they have all these problems with dating. And it's not the men. It's the fact that you, like, you can't attract. You don't give off energy that's feminine enough for somebody to want to buy you flowers. You don't give off energy that's feminine enough for somebody to want to take you on a five-star date. If a dude taking you on a five-star date, like, he's showing you off. You, like, you know, one of them. Like, he not taking you to no five-star date and, and you be wearing, uh... You don't even get your hair. You don't even keep your hair done. Like, why you think he's taking you there? And like, you don't even like look the part. Damn. 
Who wants to take some chick to a five star restaurant with the bonnet on? <laughs> Guys, we're keeping it real. Because she's keeping it real. But we always keep it real. We always keep it real. So, yeah, I just want to say that. Like, I know a lot of women going to get mad, and I know they're going to call me a pick me, but like. F em. You got to be conscious to what you attract. Like, if you don't want to, if you don't want to, like, keep your body together and you don't want to stay in shape and you don't care about how you dress and you don't care about how you talk and you're going to do what you want to do, you're going to keep attracting bottom tier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And even me, I'm changing as a woman. Like, I want to stop dancing because the type of man that I want to be with ain't going to be with no dancer. Like, that's, that's just what it is. Wait, what? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> dancing? You're a stripper? Yo. Is the fact that if you hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bio. I'm checking this chick's TikTok out. Don't tell me this chick's a stripper, bro. No, I don't see any stripper poles on here. Educate yourself. I mean, can a woman change her ways? I'll tell you, I I I I heard um, the per the person I've heard blow me away with that response was actually none other than Andrew Tate, who said, "Can you turn a three or four into a housewife?" He says, "Yes, but why would I want to?" Right? And I said, "Ooh, that's the that's that's it right there." Dancer, dancer. What does she mean by dancer? Guys, I have to do some investigating. I'm sorry. You might be wondering, why does it matter, Chisho? It matters because I did not see that coming. Can a woman who was a dancer understand that being a dancer is not going to land her the type of man that she wants? Yeah, she can. She can understand that. You know, can she change and get married? It'll be tough. But like I've always said, man, any woman can really get married. It's just a matter of marrying the men that they want and them being humble enough to accept what the dating market will offer now will most men be okay with the dancer history past you you, you, you if uh, unless if they're a russell wilson you know who feels compelled you know go to church find a man over there plenty of women in church with testimonies who used to be dancers it's not impossible is all i'm saying but damn i don't see anything though on here that um shows that she's a dancer hold on guys i'm still looking all right so i didn't i didn't see anything here that um yeah i didn't i didn't i didn't find anything um but but think about this for a second because this kind of backs up her point right you look at her and how she's presenting herself. If she had claws, you know, for um, nails and extendo eyelashes and green hair and was dressed extremely revealing. Think of how people might have jumped to this chick might be some type of a stripper or dancer. But because of how she presented herself, that's not where people's minds went. And what I'm trying to say is that actually proves a point a whole lot. And think of how many chicks out here who have never touched a pole. And maybe she's like a professional dancer as far as like, um, you know, she dances. There are a lot of dancers in LA that dance in like music videos and things like that. You know, you can go on tour, there's people dance in plays, who, who knows what's going on here. Um, but yeah, let's keep listening. So all I'm saying is like, if you a woman, <laughs> know how to play the game and you can you can sit over here and listen to sprinkle sprinkle and cardi b and look at the type of dudes they with cardi b would all say sprinkle sprinkle with an old somebody granddaddy <laughs> like so i'm telling you i'm telling you look at lebron wife you you see how she dressed you see how she looked we ain't never even heard lebron wife speak and say nothing crazy out her mouth so Facts. yeah i just want to say that so have a good day bye <laughs> so much truth so much truth, regardless um, of how things kind of took a, a turn there. Let's check out some of these comments, see what the people have to say. First comment here says, y'all live for the validation of men and it's ridiculous. You'll never be happy. 
she's upset she's upset so we have a chick here who's like no i'm never going to dress for a man to attract men i'm going to live for me me only this is why guys when there's a chick here crying and um guys in the comment section are like nah get out of here we know you have the opportunity to change we know you have the opportunity you knew you watched videos just like this and you decided not to do anything about it and people are like oh toxic nah nah it will end in tears and we might be here to capture it or she may capture it for us and upload it so that we can upload it ourselves right she responded and says yes because if you want a happy life with a man you have to compromise shout out to this chick she understands um another guy here says i've been trying to tell my homegirl this for years the street dude aesthetic don't typically come in faithful considerate understanding and she responds and says and he will be in prison she will be a single mom shaking my head somebody else here says it's not a pick me it's a i'm wife not a sneaky link somebody else here says this is somewhat true and not at the same time parentheses majority black men have issues deeper than the titanic she says and even if you carry yourself like a queen they'll call you stuck up it's happened to classy black women every day she said um but i checked her profile and she's you know lizzo sized and that's what she was talking about right getting yourself together here's somebody else who says i wanted a man to treat me like a princess so i had to become a princess first to attract him it worked somebody else who says one of the harsh truths yeah another comment here says honestly i just be my authentic self i attract so many good men just haven't found the right connection for me <sighs> you're ch nah don't believe it someone else who says they don't want to hear you because it involves accountability somebody else who added no you're right to a certain extent you gotta play the game that's it guys of course i'm curious to know what do you think leave your comments down below i appreciate you as always for checking out yet another episode of the coffee pot till next time i'm out peace